Hi, I'm Amy Shelton, and I serve as the Executive Director at the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth. In 2023, C2I launched a strategic roadmap with a focus on our long-standing strength of supporting advanced learners from across the United States and around the world. As part of that roadmap, C2I examined every aspect of our operations, from research to programs to family and educator supports, and worked to unify the organization so that we could deliver an authentic C2I experience in an ever-changing educational landscape. C2I courses are designed to reflect that C2I experience of rigorous academics, novel context or approach, and a fun and engaging peer community. For fall 2025, we've introduced a synchronous component to many of our online courses to enhance that rigorous content, to create a more collaborative context, and to emphasize peer community as part of the learning experience. You may see some new course titles as well as some familiar ones, and we've introduced some new course types that may be offered in both in-person and virtual classroom formats, many of which stemmed from our most successful and valued offerings over many years. The following is a brief introduction to the models appearing in our Fall 2025 catalog. The first course type is what we call our Advanced Enrichment. In this context, uh, this is an above grade level topic, something that's typically not found in a standard K-12 setting, or if it is, it's being offered at a much higher grade level than what would be typically be seen. We do this in a novel context. We treat these as college style courses, or we put them in an interesting application, for example, the physics of sports. This allows a student to engage in this high level material, but in a context that provides a different kind of fun and relevance. The goal of these courses is to prepare higher order thinking and to really prepare students for college style academic challenges with general course objectives including that application of higher order thinking as well as developing skills in critical analysis and the synthesis of material. The second course type is extreme acceleration. This is our most intense experience. The topics can be at or above grade level and they are done in a novel approach which is highly concentrated with accelerated instruction. We think of it as sort of almost a boot camp style class in a topic that a student's really interested in. And the preparation here is for doing these truly intense academic challenges. The general objectives are to have knowledge in that topic area and the potential to advance to the next stage of coursework in this area much more quickly or at a faster pace. And the tendency here is to build strong organizational and study skills. So those skills get acquired or enhanced as part of doing this intense challenge. The third type of course is what we call our skill shop challenges. These are a little bit new, although they also reflect a lot of the things we've historically done within the context of classes. These courses are really about exploration and skill development within a topic. It's a novel context because we're really putting it in an applied framework that is aimed at either a product or an accomplishment. So each of these courses does culminate in either some sort of capstone project or a competitive achievement that is defined at the front end. So the objectives here are the ability to go deeper into a topic area and show practical application and life skills. And as it's based around a final product, we often see collaborative products or accomplishments as part of the objective. And the final course type I want to talk about today is the mini course. These are just what the name implies, short courses over one to three sessions, allowing students to sample a topic of interest. It's a brief and intensive exploration delving into a specific subtopic. A mini course may stem from an existing course or be a standalone topic driven by an expert in the field. They are excellent for students who want a burst of academic activity during times when taking a longer course may just not be feasible and they can both deepen knowledge in an area of interest or pique interest in a new area of study. Thank you for taking a moment to learn about CTY's newly defined course types. I hope we'll see you soon in one of our exciting in-person or virtual classrooms.